Hey, it's Coolio. If you don't know, we're playing Caverns of Zeus. What do you know? Another boss room. Meet the snake from hell! Oh no! It will charge at you with fiery rage if it gets aligned to you. Unless you just keep shooting like this. There it goes. Now it's angry. We have angered it. And we have died. Oh. Uh, still got plenty of lives left. Yeah, this is one of those bosses that uh, encircles you. So we'll sometimes get stuck like that. And there is the silver spellbook with detonate for two mana and lava walk for three mana. Let's see if detonate does anything in this room. No? Okay. There we go. Now, we're gonna need that lava walk in the fire room. Because there is a place that is only accessible if you fire walk to it. Or lava walk. Whatever. Either way. So here's the fire room. Once again, do not grab that potion. That's where we need to go. But first, I get this, uh, one up. Lava walk doesn't last very long. So rather than try to risk it, run to the life, run here, run across the lava, cast lava walk again. Now, save here. This is the boss I was thinking of. Watch this. When you shoot it, it multiplies. And it just keeps multiplying. Oh boy. I remember in my first uh, Megazooks game, when I was a lame 12 year old, I made a boss that was kind of based on this one. And also included the silver staff idea there. Ah, we have died. I like the boss music in this game. And this is one of those bosses that encircles you. Like I said, there are a lot of those in the Zook series. A lot. A metric lot. You might be wondering, when does this boss end? Well, I'll tell you. Each one of those clones has a maximum of 5 HP. And when a clone is created, it's created with the HP of its predecessor. So the first one had 5 HP, then I hit it once, so it got, went down to 4 HP and created a clone that also had 4 HP. Now as you can see, numbers are kind of dwindling now. It's starting to get there. Na 
almost there. There's a couple more. Ow. Ah, we're almost dead. Whoa. I think that's the original one, actually. I'm gonna try to heal. It only heals for 20, though. Only protect us against two hits. This is probably one of the longer bosses in the game. If you haven't noticed already. There we go. Now I believe that opened up a path in the water area. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, lava walk across here. Get off the lava as soon as possible, because like I said, lava walk does not last long at all. So with that, we're headed back to the water area. No, not this way. Yep. That last earthquake opened up this area, which will most like most likely lead to a boss. Let me see if that need does anything. No. Now is best here to just not confront the dragons at all. Just block them off and you'll be fine. This area, however, is a different story. There's no way to block them off without blocking off your entry path. Also, be careful, those are mines. They will explode if you touch them. Or shoot them. Only difference is, if you shoot them, you won't get hurt. Unless you're really close range. Ah, die! Those are conveyor belts. They can be useful, or they can be annoying. They are usually annoying. These are a carryover from ZZT, which is the origin of Megazooks. Whoa! Yeah, don't think we're gonna survive this. Give a couple of heals. I still have nine mana. Whoa! No. It's best if you kind of alternate fire instead of constant fire against uh, dragons have alternate because if they shoot fire at you it will stop your bullet sometimes. It's kind of strange Megazook's physics there. And this is the last boss of this area. Steal the exit. Now uh, you may have noticed every boss in this area. Whoa! Yeah, I think we're just gonna sacrifice life here. It's just the easiest way. Yeah, every boss in this area, their uh, boss rooms look exactly the same. Which is kind of sad. Alright. So now we're a dragon. We have defeated all the seven guardians. So, there's only one thing left to do. Go talk to the spirit, and the spirit will set us free. I don't think we're going to get there in this part, though. I 
We'll get as far as we can. At least. Alright, so we're going to get to the spirit room. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Caverns of Zooks, we talk to the spirit, and the spirit will let us free. The end. Question mark? I'm Cooley if you don't know. See you next time.